Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to continue talking about Drush with this basic introduction to Drush. And if you're new to the command line in general, it's not scary. Uh, Drush is not scary, and it's going to make your life way better. So, you don't have to know really anything. In fact, you could probably Google Drush cheat sheet and find some good cheat sheets out there um, to give you a good idea of the most used commands just in case you uh, forget them while you're still learning them. But first off, let's just run uh, Drush and then space and version. And this is gonna tell you what version of Drush you're running. Since we downloaded from GitHub, it's the master branch. Uh, when I downloaded this and we did this video, we we're running version seven. So when I hit Drush version, you're gonna see Drush 7.0 hyphen dev. So this is the current master branch of the Drush uh, repository and this is the current version I have installed. So keep that in mind if you're running into some things or something uh, that isn't exactly like how mine is, uh, we're running Drush 7. So that's always something to keep in mind. Two, if you're running Drush commands and you're getting an error about bootstrapping something, Google that. However, Google the line of uh, the error that says something more specific, um, maybe like PDO construct, um, like with a number, like 2002, no such file directories, an error I was getting, right? Um, and if you Google those errors in accordance to Drush rather than this, this bootstrap error or whatever that comes up, you're gonna have more luck finding an actual solution. In fact, uh, this error that I was having after I installed Drush and I was running uh, database commands or something like that, um, it was giving me this error and really I needed to, uh, it was because of a, a disconnect between um, MAMP and my system. So I needed to create a symlink um, and in fact, if you're having that issue, if you're using MAMP for your Drupal site and you're getting this uh, PDO construct, I'm gonna post a link to a blog post that tells you two commands, you run them and you're fixed. Um, however, because everybody's system's different, you may be running into errors here and there and it's hard for me to troubleshoot all of them because uh, like I said, everybody's system's different. But I guarantee uh, that your issues have probably been solved somewhere down the line. If you follow the steps step by step from the last video, um, then you should be good to install. And if you have errors, Google them, seek help on the Drupal forums. Uh, chances are there is somebody to help you. Um, cool. So we have Drush installed, proof by me typing in Drush or Drush version and seeing a version there. Now let's just type in Drush again. And you'll see it gives you a complete list of the commands. And anytime you're forgetting the commands, of course you can Google them, um, but they're really right here at your fingertips in the command line. So let's scroll up. I'm gonna go all the way to the top of the list here and we can see that at first, uh, um, uh, you can actually get help on specific commands just by typing drush help and then the command. And then it's going to give you some specific help. Uh, you can also run drush topic uh, you'll see here to read more documentation. So that's great that it has all that information directly in here. You also see there's some global options. So uh, hyphen D um, is debug mode or, or you could do hyphen hyphen debug instead if you wanna type it all out, hyphen H um, help system. Uh, so basically uh, like with most command line things you um, would, would just type in um, these extra flags, these extra options, and you could be getting more information with the commands you're running. So uh, let's see what other commands we have here. And these are the uh, core Drush commands. And it looks like you have archive dump, back up your code files and database into a single file, archive restore, expand a site archive into a Drupal website, uh, clear cache. Uh, which is actually probably my most used Drush command because if anybody you know, has worked in Drupal for some time, you know that clearing the cache becomes a thing you have to do all the time. And actually clearing the cache with Drush is so much easier than going and clicking the clear cache and stuff like that. It's just way faster. Um, 
eh, we could go over through all of these, but it's really worth your time to just to go through and, and check them out. So even Core Quick Drupal, uh, download, install, serve, and log in to Drupal with minimal configuration and dependencies. How, does that not sound super useful? I mean, uh, there's some really great stuff here. Um, you can get uh, really easily full Drupal installations downloaded in no time through really quick commands. You can update your Drupal system in one command. You can update all of your modules in one command. You can download and install modules. You can unable, disable, uh, uninstall, all sorts of stuff. Um, just go through this list, check it out. You're not going to be disappointed. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to run a first rush command. And of course you have to have a Drupal site already running. So you already have to have your Drupal site running. Um, and it has to be up and running. I have it going with MAMP. In fact, it's one of the ones we were uh, building a while ago in the Drupal series. Let me browse to it. I have the site here and it's really nothing fancy at all. Um, but I want to go to this site and this site's located in my sites folder. And so I'm going to navigate there right now. And to do that in the command line, you type the command CD for change directory. Well, first off, you have to kind of know where you are. Right now I'm in my home directory because this is usually where you are when you open your terminal. If you type ls, it's going to show you what files are in your directory, sort of where you are. This looks familiar as my home directory. If if it's not your home directory, um, you can certainly uh, get there by navigating with this change directory. So if we do cd, which is change directory, we can do space and then I'm going to go to my sites folder. Um, there we go, and now I'm in my sites folder, and I'm gonna change directory again, and this is just going to be in this level Drupal site. Now keep in mind, when you're changing directory using the cd command, you don't have to just do one level at a time. You could say uh, cd users scott. You can do multiple directories. I'm just sort of illustrating this slowly for people who are not uh, super, uh, command line skilled or savvy. So we're now inside of our Drupal project. I can confirm that by typing ls and you can see all your normal Drupal stuff. Uh, in fact, uh, this has got a whole bunch of that extra stuff, the install text and stuff like that that you should probably delete, but this was just a test demo site. Um, so now, now that we're inside of our Drupal site, we can run a command. Keep in mind, you run your commands from inside of a Drupal directory. Okay, so you navigate inside of your Drupal directory. It can be anywhere within that Drupal directory. But now when we type drush, we can type cc space all. And let's hit enter. And now it gives me the uh, message that all cache was cleared with a success green arrow. And if we refresh our site, you're not gonna see any difference, but the cache has been cleared. Um, and we didn't have to go to uh, configuration, uh, performance, and then clear all caches. So, I mean, of course, there's easier way to do that, do that with some other modules, but drush cc all took one second. Notice how we can also type drush cache clear all. And it gives us the same message. So the drush cc all and drush cache clear, uh, are, are, the cc all is really just a shorthand. And in fact, if we type drush to get all of our uh, messages, you'll see that next to um, some of our commands here, we have these little shorthands. And we scroll all the way up, sure enough, you're going to see that clear caches shortcut is cc. Um, so once you learn the drush commands, you can use these shortcuts to uh, really just speed it up. So instead of, you know, having to go through all this blah blah blah, you can just tab over to your command line, drush cc all, enter, come back to your project, and most likely by the time you do anything, your cache is already going to be cleared. So it's great and it's really fast and easy. So 
that is clearing your cache with Drush. We ran our first Drush command, we got things straightened out, and you sort of got the scoop on what Drush does. So in the next video, we're going to show you how to download, enable, and install modules in one second with Drush, and it's awesome. It's really cool. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.